good morning. Where are my keys? There they are. We are gonna try. Let me see. That's really close. There we go. Much better. We are going on a little trip, a little field trip of sorts. We are going to a tiny little town nearby. Okay, okay. We are going to a little town nearby. It's an Amish town. Anyway, they have this store there that sells bulk food items, which I'm very obviously interested in oiling up right now. Because I want to smell good, but it also helps me just relax without getting a headache. Um, seeing because it's an hour and a half away, or an hour away. Um, and okay, so food items, I would like to get some bulk food items. That's how our family shops and we have for a very, very long time because of the size of our family alone. Um, but we also, yep, uh-huh. But we also just wanna go to this town and see what it's like. I wanna check on their feed prices for animals. I wanna check on uh, for all the different animals that we have and for the sheep coming in December. So we're just on a mission today. Come along with us, we'll, we'll let you come. So here's the whole other thing. I've actually really been wanting to do this for a while now. Um, this place has been on my radar. Growing up where I did in Michigan, there was a, another uh, community very, really similar to what I've been told this one is like. And, um, and so it always made me want to just go and see. And we just never have. I don't know why. I mean, an hour and a half away is a distance. I mean, a good distance. Like, you're not just going to jump in the car while we did today. But you're not going to do that once a week, probably, especially with gas prices. So, anyway, that is my goal. To see what we can find, see what this place is like, and see if it could potentially help us if we can plan ahead, save some money, especially in the bulk items that our family consumes um, because we can't possibly grow everything that we eat and um, with the animal feed. So we're on a mission. Here we go. Okay, we just finished up our shopping trip at Beachy's. Super cool store. It, they are really busy today. I did not feel right about taking this camera in. Uh, I'll show you when we get home, if I can remember, um, what we got. So um, is the pricing better? So what I was looking for was better pricing <laughs> than what we can get in our town. And then just a, oh, there you go buddy, just a, normal Sam's Club type of setting. We buy a lot at Sam's Club because our family is so big. So I'm looking for cost saving ways to get groceries, more things potentially in bulk. Uh, and while I did get some good deals, um, I walked away thinking even a place, a local place like Beachy's that they bring things probably in in massive bulk and even rebag it, everybody's pricing is up. Um, I did get one 50 pound bag of flour that I'm pretty sure is probably close to the same deal as like the cheaper version of flour at Sam's Club. I was looking for einkorn in bulk. I didn't see it in there. Um, I'm sure it's available, but the small bag of einkorn, which is what I really wanted um, for my daughter in particular, who um, she's not celiac, but struggles with gluten. It is so expensive. It's not sustainable. So, um, what else did we get? I did find a pair of leather gloves, work gloves for Jays that are winter ones. I just bought a pair in town for myself for $28 and I found a pair here for him that are insulated and nice, probably just as nice if not nicer than the ones I got for 12 dollars 
good deal. Uh, Coop got a cool knife that he's gonna use for stuff. How much was this, buddy? I got a cookie. $6. Yeah, I got $6. A cookie. That, that felt like a good deal. It's a high quality knife that he's gonna use for just when he's cooking outside, flaying a fish, what else? Just anything he might need it for. He's opening Shad. up chicken feet. I mean, you, you use knives all the time for different things. Shad got um, cookie. Shad got cookie. Pasta seemed to be a good deal in bulk. Our family does really enjoy pasta. Um, I did not get the healthier version of pasta, to be honest. It's just um, regular pasta. Uh, they had some of the noodles so that I liked, like the rigatoni noodles and the, um, they had miniature lasagna noodles. I love making this soup in the winter called lasagna soup. Super easy, it's a great, like throw it all in the pot. They had miniature lasagna noodles. Usually I'm breaking up lasagna noodles and no, they were not expensive. Like a big bag of them was probably four or five bucks. Yeah. That was a good deal in my mind. Um, one bag would probably feed our family two really large pots of soup, if not three. So in my mind, that's a good deal. Let's see, what else did we get, guys? Honey, I did get some honey here, which three I- big things of cabbage. Oh, we did get some of their fresh produce. I didn't need a ton of fresh produce, and that's really not what I'm looking for because that's not gonna be sustainable coming here. But I did get some onions Pumpkins. from a local farmer. I got some of their miniature pumpkins because they were half off, or like pumpkin pie sized pumpkins. And I got some acorn squash, and I got some huge cabbages that were just like two ninety eight. dollars Oh my word, there's so much more in town. But I'm not, I, I won't be coming here once a week with gas prices. Um, so that's not sustainable, that was just a cool find. Uh, I would definitely come back for, fl I would come back for anything in bulk, probably. Uh. If I, no, 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 like if we were going to come, you know, every couple months, yeah. I would probably do that. They did not have um, animal feed here, so that's our I next stop. It. But I did see, um, what is it called? Meadowview Herbs. They have Where's tinctures here, and I make a lot of my own tinctures, but we're going to go check that place out. We have time. I want to go see what this place is like. They have a lot of medicinal herbs, the sign says. Um, we were on the other shore for about Good stuff hour. like that. Yeah, we probably we were here about an hour. We were just taking it all in. Yes, we do need to get some food. Maybe we'll go do that first. But anyway, so I'll give you, yeah. if this place isn't busy, maybe I'll try to take Sit this down. in. Otherwise, I'll just come back and give you a report. But we got a video of just what the outside of this place, uh, of yeah. Beachy's um, bulk foods was. Super cool store. I definitely wish we lived closer. I would love to give them my business a lot more. Stay we'll see what the future holds. Mm -hmm. We are so mesmerized by these farms, you guys. Oh, they're just beautiful. It stinks. Yeah, we smell a lot right now. That's okay. So this is the Meadowview Herbs. Oh my word, I am so excited to go in here. I hope this is amazing because I will come back for this. Look at that, targets. They have it. So one cool thing when we were in the store, I don't see any of them out here right now, but there was an Amish man farming this field with his horse um, leading the way. I find that, I know I'm romanticizing it. I know I do those things, but it was really actually kind of beautiful. <laughs> it was, I loved seeing it. Okay, sorry, I could not take you in there. There we go. The The reason I didn't take you in there is a really small store, and honestly, most of these places have Amish people running them, and I'm trying to be super sensitive to that. And once I walked in there, I was gonna come back out and grab my camera, and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that. But anyway, I have to show you. So this is super cool, hold on. Mom. Actually, let me just put it up here. Mama, but no, is that, is that, is that, did Mom. I, hold on. Mama, okay, they have the these books in there. Be your own doctor. So these books, there's, I don't know, three or four of them. They're written by um, Rachel Weaver. She is a midwife. Um, she's a an herbalist. I love reading about hers, but I've never bought one. They had them in there. So to be honest, I actually, I'm not gonna talk about this right now, but I just um, canceled my Amazon, my Amazon membership, whatever it's called. So I was super pumped to get to get that. Anyway, another story for another time. Then they had several herbs, so I went ahead and got there. This was great. They have an immune tea. My, I'm out of my immune tea. They had it all packaged, ready to go. They also had chamomile. We didn't grow enough chamomile this year to dry ourselves, so I was super excited about that. We enjoy chamomile, especially in the winter. One thing that was encouraging when I was looking through all of their herbs um, that they had for sale, I was super like, okay, 
we have most of these that we are already drying ourselves. That was encouraging. So we've grown them ourselves. We know how we grew them. We know we know all those things. So all the places I put herbs, all the places that we have my, our medicinal herbs, um, we have most of what they had in there. And I do know how to use them. Um, okay, they also had just a baby bath uh, powder. Um, I wanted to get just to keep on hand that it's actually a natural one, a good one. And then two more things that I got, two tinctures that I had not, they ha that I, I make our own family's immunity tincture. I have for the past few years. Um, ours is sitting right now. It's actually probably ready now, but they had a baby, a baby strength one. And so I went ahead and got that for Deeks um, for this winter. And then just the other day, Deeks had my brand new bottle of the Mimoline ear stuff. He dumped it out everywhere. Anyway, they had one. I, I canceled my Amazon, like I said, so I couldn't order another one. And uh, so they have this, so super excited. Anyway, that was what we got at the Meadow View. What was it, Meadow View? Um, it, Meadow. it said that it's organic produce. Yeah, they had some or organic produce. Meadow View herb something or other. The sign's right there. Super cool. I like, oh, and of course. Like they had zevias, so I had to get an orange zevia because mm -hmm. I really do like zevias and they're way better for you than Diet Dr. Pepper. And I do di enjoy Diet Dr. Pepper too, but I like zevias. Okay, hey guys, we are home. It is now, what time is it, Cooper? Five? It's now about five o'clock. Okay, here's the deal. When we were in Amish country, um, my mic... My, I just said microwave, oh my word. My microphone battery died. I could have stopped to get some more, I didn't. And honestly, I just felt really, re like I want to be super respectful to people that view all of this differently, especially the Amish, because um, it's such a core part of their belief system. So I didn't feel right about taking this in. But what I thought I could just go ahead and do is just show, show you the things we got, show you the things that I'm like, okay, this was truly a good deal. This one maybe wasn't but whatever so let me flip this camera around i'm going to show you the things that i actually do buy in bulk no matter what whether we're going to amish country or we're just doing it at sam's club let me show you and then i'll point out um price differences and what i feel like uh actually would be a good deal with a family our size i'm always always shopping with a family our size and with food costs i cannot get all organic flowers, oats, pastas right now, as much as I actually would love to do that. I just can't. So let me show you what we got. Okay, so we unloaded from the van. I just put everything on the table because I actually wanted to show my husband. So here's, you might not know this, but Jason actually does the majority of our grocery shopping, which is absolutely most the most amazing thing. I despise grocery shopping, like with a passion. Um, but I wanted to be able to show him what we got. Most of the things that we got were food items, but a couple randomness. First of all, their washcloths, I wish you could feel these. One, they're stretchy. They're double. I love these. So I got four of these. I'm already wishing I would have gotten more because I could use them in my bathroom as well. They're big. I will absolutely go back for these. They were like $1.50, $2 a piece at most and love these. My mother-in-law. I think these are the ones that she likes as well. Okay, I did get Jason a pair of these gloves. I talked about these earlier. Absolutely a fantastic deal at $12.99. Even the full price would have been fantastic. I'm kicking myself because I spent almost $30 on my pair that I just got last week. Um, raw sugar. It's probably about equal as to what the kind I would buy raw organic cane sugar from Sam's Club. It's almost the same. The only difference is that one I think at Sam's Club, if I remember right, is bleached. I don't know if it's bleached. I just know it's not the it's not the brown color. This is my absolute favorite. Um, this is organic cane sugar, even though the package just says uh, there it said the other. It's the Golden Barrel raw sugar. Um, if you, if I were to buy this kind, I'm like, oh, hold on. Okay, if I were to buy that, I think it was the exact same kind. Maybe it wasn't the same brand. I don't remember on Azure Standard. I actually, I have not pulled the plug and started ordering from them quite yet. Um, it's a bulk organic place that you, whatever. I, I'll talk about that later. Um, you can just order from them and get a monthly drop off. 
It's about the same price. I think technically since these are smaller bags, this is a little bit of a, be a better deal, but we're talking by cents, like probably like what it ended up being. If I were to buy a 25 pound bag of it, it would be a better deal there. But these five pound bags is probably slightly better um, just going here. So yeah, I'm, I'm super glad that they have this. I ended up getting 15 pounds of it for right now. And I know that we'll be getting more of that. Okay, I got corn grits for my husband. I have never made grits for him, I don't think. But I know he likes grits. Okay, I'll take care of it in just a minute, buddy. So I went ahead and got some of these for him. I am super excited to make these. So anyway, corn grits. I have no idea if this is a good price or not. Like I said, I've never bought it before. I'm really not concerned about it because this will probably one bag. My guess is it would last us quite a long time. I don't anticipate my kids loving these but they're not from the South. This is my bag of salt. I accidentally punctured it. This is Redmond pink uh, salt. I don't want to flip it over because I don't want to lose any more uh, great price, but I'm not sure it was that much better. I don't even remember what it was now for this. It's a five. It is almost six pounds and this was $27. Is that right? Oh, let's see here. Yes, I priced it out and I feel like it was about equal. I'm good with that, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna put the noodles over there. Honey, uh, the honey, they had all different price ranges of honey. Honestly, I went with the cheaper one because of our family budget. Uh, so this thing was $13. I wish I could have gotten the gallon one. I just couldn't do it right now. I'm super excited about this. This is the Yoder's Good Health. So this is fascinating. This is an Amish thing. Totally get it, totally know it. This is, um, it's herbs, organic herbs, raw apple cider vinegar, and then there is different types of juice concentrates. There's cherry, there's elderberry. There, you can, I mean, can I scroll in here? Let me see. I'll hold it there just for a second if you'd wanted to pause that and read it. Um, I make something similar, except I do not have elderberries in it. Oh, there's lemon balm in it, there's fennel. So much goodness that I'm like, absolutely, I'm gonna do that. I know, I know, I will have naysayers. It's okay, you choose the way that your family does health. We have chosen this for literally, let's see, we are going on 15 years of just the, um, a, a natural way first, and it has worked for us. So I'm all about something like this and supporting this, and yes, we will be doing it. This was $17 worth it for me. It's basically like a tincture of just goodness. I'm gonna come back to this area in just a second because this was at their herb store that I mentioned to you, the Meadowview Herbs. I did get noodles. This is uh, probably, let's see, it is $5.21 for this packet for each of these. They are by pound. About each, each bag is about two pounds. I'm so excited about these. I wish I would have gotten just the mini lasagna looking back because I love these noodles. We make a lasagna soup in the winter time that literally you throw everything in a pot. I wish I would have gotten more. Oh well, that to me is a great price. This was pro will probably be like each of these bags. My guess if I'm putting it in soup would be about three meals for our family. So three, six, nine, twelve, twelve meals throw together other, um, you know, the tomatoes that we have frozen, oregano, a little bit of tomato paste, salt, pepper, onions, green pepper, and literally you have so much soup. Throw in, I throw in the noodles for my kids. Our family loves pasta. We don't actually eat tons of pasta, but when I'm making a soup, if I don't have um, sourdough or bread made, I will throw in pasta. My boys need it. I know they do. I, I know that they need those um, carbs. And yes, I could choose a healthier version, but that becomes unaffordable. And so we just do the best that we can. So we, I store noodles and I do store rice. Our family also loves rice. It's just a really quick and easy way that we can get um, nourishment into us. I make the rice often in a bone broth, add some beans and vegetables in it. So many creative things that you can do that are so simple and good for you and very cost effective. And Posey wants to tell you about our peanut butter. I'm so excited about this peanut butter. Go ahead. So this is peanut butter, um, what kind is it? This is, it's just a natural roasted peanut butter. And we're gonna freeze it. Yeah. And we're gonna save it for the winter time. That's, that's right, we're gonna freeze these. I, my grandpa used to get peanut butter like this and I loved it. Um, you literally, these were already set for us, but if those were empty, you could like turn this lever 
and then just fill your own container. That's how fresh it is. So I'm super excited about that. Good job. Do you want to tell them what this is? Flour. Yes, this is a 50 pound bag of flour. I think really, I'm not sure. Again, I am not buying all the high end organic. I just can't right now, not with how much we go through. We have 10 people in our family. This entire bag costs about $25. Honestly, it's probably about the same price as the just the white flower from um, Sam's Club. Uh, so I'm not convinced. Th I think this is, um, is this wheat? I don't even remember. No, it's just a premium. It's a premium baker's flower. Yeah. That's why I chose it. Um, it's kind of their go-to there. I looked up einkorn. Einkorn would have been quadruple this there. Triple to quadruple. I think it was, no, I think a five pound bag, maybe it was 10 pound bag was like 40 bucks there. Something like that. I did not do that. I did not buy berry. Like the, you can buy the wheat berries. I didn't want to do that right now. I, so I just did one bag for right now. I, our family goes through tons of flour between sourdough and regular bread, between sourdough and regular bread, any baked goods that we might make um, good for you, not as much, anything. We just go through lots. I also give bread as gifts often because there's nothing like homemade bread. So I just cannot do right now. I can't do that. And like, I wanted to give you freedom. I don't care if you're a mom of one or if you're a mom of 20, it doesn't matter to me. Like, I want to give you the freedom to say, man, just do the best that you can. I don't care if you're a homesteader or if you're not, if you're not even into that, but you just like homemade, like just do what you can. It's okay to say, I cannot afford right now the highest end flowers, but I'm still gonna make bread from scratch. It's okay to say that. Promise, I promise you, it is. I did get two um, bags of cereal because my kids love cereal. I hate cereal. My husband likes cereal. I don't really know at the end of the day if this saved us much of anything at all, but whatever. Uh, vanilla, this is $5 vanilla. It is pure vanilla extract. Um, all different ranges. Again, I chose the cheap one this time. My goal this winter is to actually, I'm gonna set you up on that bag a minute. My goal this winter is to actually start making our own vanilla, but I just haven't had a chance yet. So I just had this so I can put it in our pantry. I did get a large bag of oats. Um, it was $10 for about seven and a half pounds. We did about, I have a sad man. We did about, uh, we do go through oats. We also give our oats to our bunnies, actually. It's really, really good for them. They love it. It's a great treat. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say about oats. I like sticking oats in bread. I like sticking oats in cookies. I like sticking oats, just making oatmeal, anything like that. Okay, apple cider vinegar. I also make my own apple vinegar, which is not the cider portion of it. I like both. Both, like the one that I make has the mother in it. So does the Braggs. I like having Braggs on hand. This gallon was $23. I actually should have searched it there. Uh, it's a much better deal at Sam's Club. Sam's Club right now was like under 20, like 18 was I think 17, $18. Oh, well. We'll I supported a local. Lot. We will. We lose. We do use this a lot. Like that'll stay up in our cat. It sure lot. will. Yep, it sure will. I drink. I put apple cider vinegar in drinks. Not plain. I don't like it as a shot. It burns down. I would rather make a drink from it. Add it into a little bit of lemonade, ice. Add some like spritzer water in there. It's good. I did, I also grabbed all of these pumpkins. These were like those pumpkin pie pumpkins I had mentioned earlier. I got four of those. I'm going to try to bake those off and just make them for pumpkin pie filling and put it in the freezer. A couple, these are actually not acorn squashes, but the sign said better than acorn squash. I am blanking. These are all grown in the cabbages over there, all grown by a local farmer. Um, I don't remember. They were all half off. They're just trying to get rid of them. I probably should have gotten more. And then I got four massive cabbages. I love cabbage. Not only is it so good for you, you can put it in soup, you can put it in stir fry, you can put it in rice. These cabbages, these massive ones, I mean, look at my hand, I cannot even grip it, were $2.98. Yeah, totally worth it. Riggins wants to show you, this is a treat that they love, marshmallows, dehydrated marshmallows, yeah. 
Nana gets them and freezes them and puts them in hot chocolate. Yes, Nana does. They love these. All of my kids do. <laughs> okay, about those cabbages. Those cabbages, um, oh, here's one. you find it? Okay, good. Those cabbages. Okay, here's the thing that I love about cabbages. Yes, they're good for you. I like the texture that they add. They're not super strong flavor. You can make sauerkraut if you want to with them. I like them because they're filling. They store for a very long time. Last year, I purchased a cabbage that was very, very small, probably not much bigger than this onion here in this bag for $3 at, or no, it was like $5 at a local grocery store. And I was just floored. I'm like, are you kidding me? So when I saw these for $2 in some sense, they're huge. I'm like, I'm gonna grab some. They will store for a long time. And um, yeah, cabbages are just, they're so great. They're kind of like a superfood. All about it. Now, I would not go there just for the produce. And here's why. Unless I'm gonna go and I'm gonna have like a major, major, preservation weekend i wouldn't go there just for produce because so much of their produce is what we grow ourselves but with that said i i wish they were closer if gas prices were not what they were i probably would um, because i do feel like overall their produce their fresh produce produce prices were very very great i'm just not sure with gas prices if i could do that so Anyway, I just grabbed things, a few things that I know I can store personally here, at least for a while, and, uh, and we will absolutely use. So here's the other thing with cabbages, why they store so great. Like, if I store those for a couple months, the outside is gonna start looking just gnarly, but if you start pulling the layers, you will still find goodness inside, and that's what I love about cabbages. So, okay, let's keep going. There's only a couple things left. My kids did throw in things like um, banana chips, sweetened banana chips. They love these and they've eaten a ton of them, whatever. I'm sure I can get them cheaper at Aldi. Okay, so here's the other things that I think I showed you some of them. Be Your Own Doctor um, by Rachel Weaver. Weaver. She has written, uh, I think at least three books. Super duper excited about this. Again, I know I will have naysayers. It's okay, I really don't care. Like. You have the freedom. I have no opinion if you choose a different way to um, to serve your family when it comes to medicine. Do what you feel passionate about. This is what I feel passionate about. We all have our own story and I can tell you mine, but just not right now. Um, so super duper excited for this. I will devour this. I wish I could have gotten all three of her books, but I didn't. They were like 20 some bucks. Um, immunity tea. I said this earlier, this was $6, this will last us all winter. Very, very thrilled with this, and I was so encouraged to see that many of their herbs in this store we already have dried or already dried. I did get chamomile because we did not grow near enough this year, and goodness gracious, for $2.39, yes, I might just keep growing, or just keep buying theirs. I said earlier, this baby support for immune systems, um, ear, I have not taken my kids to the doctor for ear infections for years and years and years. This is what, one of the reasons why. This is a garlic mulling ear dropper. Works like a charm. And then I got just a little thing of powder. Um, it's a natural powder. I hardly ever have to use powder anymore for diaper rashes. But I wanted to go ahead and keep it on hand because sometimes I do, and sometimes coconut oil just doesn't, is it quite enough, like if we're battling something else. I texted Jason while we were there. If it wasn't for like clothing, because you know me and I like clothing and just some of our belief differences, goodness, I would become Amish. And he goes, isn't that essentially what you're trying to do with all of these laughy faces in his text? And I'm like, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I just, the simple life. I love making a simple life that is full of beauty and not fear, but just beauty. I love that we can decide for ourselves still. We live in a country where we can decide for ourselves what we are passionate about. And um, the thought of my life being planned for me, the thought of my life um, and my options being taken from me, the thought of me getting to 70, 80 years old and being like, I don't even know what decisions we made because life literally happened for us because 
our culture said so, status quo said so, the American dream said so, like makes me sick to my stomach. I want to have the freedom to decide today how we're living. And I know with my whole heart, a simple life is what I want for our family. It's something I'm super passionate and only becoming more passionate about making that simple, beautiful life. Notice I didn't say easy. Um, I don't think that this is, I'm not looking for easy way outs. I'm just looking for different options. And this is one of them. And living out here, okay, living out here is something that I want to be able to give my kids, Jason and I, our grandkids someday. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it was cool. It was amazing going to this Amish, um, uh, to this Amish country we and Amish talk. People. We did seeing them, still seeing, buggies. still yep, buggies horses and horses, and still seeing farmers farm chickens. that way. We saw lots of things, didn't we? I didn't see that many chickens. I didn't see a ton of chickens either, but we did see lots of horses and cows Especially and dogs. Horses. Mm -hmm. I didn't see any dogs. I, I did. I did. Yeah. I like seeing that. I like seeing can other people, there? even in their own way. Yes, we absolutely because can I've go there again. I've never seen people like that. Yeah, I loved it, didn't you? Have you ever yeah. seen people like that? Mm-hmm. Yep. Have you been? Have you did? Have you saw people like that? I like have. Amish people at like the witch's restaurant. Sometimes? I have. Yeah, at my parents' restaurant, Nina or Mimi and Pop's restaurant. Mm-hmm. I have. They come if, in. What if a person you're videoing know Mimi and Pop? Maybe. Anyway, it was great seeing people just living that simple life in their own way. And yeah, it was a great day. So anyway, thanks for joining us. I know you'll get this not on today, the day that we actually went, but um, maybe it inspired you. You know, in an, an area around you that is Amish, go visit, go to their stores, see what it all is that they do. And goodness, make for your life a simple, your family, a simple life, beautiful life that you can just invite people into. Do it. What's holding you back? Anyway, have a great one. Until next time, right? Peace out. Peace out. Places that we stopped. This is when I realized that my microphone batteries had died. We stopped at this little farmhouse cafe and I had, it, okay, it was big. It was a grocery store and cafe, deli, ice cream place. Anyway, they we I ordered a Reuben sandwich on sourdough. The most incredible Reuben I've ever had. Absolutely delicious. So, uh, yeah, that was something else that we did today. Just such good homemade food. Thank you. It was amazing.